Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. In this video here, I'm going to show you my other racing lawnmower. This is a modified racing lawnmower. You only can have a certain cubic inch engine in it, and you only can do so much to it. So, hope you enjoy the video. I'll show you all the stuff I got into. Okay, I'll go ahead and pop the hood off. I raced this lawnmower for about, I think, six years. I started out in the outlaw class, and I had a lot of fun in it. So then I built this one here. Like, you only can have a 31 cubic inch engine in it. So I like the Briggs engines. On this on this engine here, you can't do nothing with the rod. You have to have a stock piston in it. But you can put a balanced crankshaft in it because on the regular Briggs engines, they have them counterweights inside the block well you can take all that out and put an actual balanced crankshaft in it and it has a tuned exhaust it's a company out of rapid city south dakota that the exhaust pipe goes and it it keeps on tapering out till it comes out to the pipe right here and it's actually a tuned exhaust for this motor and i'll show you some more you have to have a stock lawnmower frame and i used a noma it's a n-o-m-a i believe they were really popular back in the mid to late 90s they didn't last very long but the hoods on my lawnmowers all my racing lawnmowers they're noma hoods i like the style of them but the brand name of the lawnmower was a noma they were really popular in the 42 inch cut decks at the time but yeah you have to have a stock frame and your seat can't be no lower than the back tires. Then on this one here, I have a Peerless 811 transmission in it. Them 811 transmissions, they have a one inch diameter shaft in them. Then you just buy a solid piece of Molly Chrome axle material and you just make it and you put it there so it's a solid rear end. And these are oval track racing lawnmowers. As you can see, the this side here is sticks out farther than this side here then you can do a little adjusting on the front ends on these like the other one the spindles you could screw up and down these here you only could use like washers and stuff you can't adjust the camber on these it's like a inexpensive way to race so a lot of people can enjoy it then we have a K&N air filter on it, and we got it so you can adjust your fuel. It's a Walboro LMT carburetor. And this one here just burns premium gas. But it's supposed to be a, it's like a 19 horse motor, but I put a 16 and a half horse sticker on it. But it's actually a, it's either 18 or 18 and a half horse motor, I can't remember. And it has a oil pressure gauge on it. And your safety plug in here where you attach it. Pretty basic. Then up on top here on the steering wheel, you got your gas and brake pedal. Right up there. One's a gas, one's a brake. And now uh, here's your clutch pedal. And on the dash, we got we got our fuel shut off here for safety reason. And then you got your we got the gas tank in the back right there. And we got our battery right here. I haven't started this one up in a couple of years. And I got the other one running. And I says, well, shoot, let's just get this other one running. So we're on the exhaust. I don't know how you can, if you can tell, but the pipes are in stages. It goes from one size and it goes to the next size bigger. Then down here it goes to one size bigger. Then it comes out to that cone. It's called tuned exhaust, which makes a real improvement because I just had a straight pipe. And you can sure tell the difference. But let's go ahead and try getting this going. I'm going to probably put a new plug in there. I definitely got to put a new battery in there. Put some fresh gas in there. See if we can't fire this thing off. Just show the inside of the carb right here. That's all polished up and everything. Looks like chrome in there. There's the oil pressure gauge. Well, I think we're about ready to try starting this thing up. Okay, we got a new battery in there. Got some gas in there see if we can't get this thing started up
Well, anyway, that's my modified lawnmower. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching, and you have a good afternoon.